Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is the Libra full moon, and that's exactly what it is that we're going to be talking about. One of the first messages that came to me this morning was the importance of keeping things really simple. And I don't know what that means for you guys, but for me, I think that this means not only staying wide open to what it is that can happen and occur in your life, especially when you're setting intention, but really getting to the bones of what it is that you're manifesting, what it is that you're setting intention for, and what it is that you want. And it's funny too, because this morning I woke up, I did some meditation. I, I, there's this coffee shop that I wanted to go to, and they have this lavender milk infused with rose petal coffee. And it's a place called Spitfire. I went there this morning. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. I met up with a friend and we walked around and we were just talking and I just kind of felt guided in that moment when I came back, when I finally came back because I wanted to film for you guys. When I came back, I had this like awakening, not awakening, but this message that I received and that I felt, which was like, Jess, you know what? Life is so much better when you keep it simple, when you keep it as simple and as intentional as possible. And it's the small things, you guys. It's the small things. It's the small things that bring joy in your life. It's the small things that bring pleasure. And that's what it is that you know, that we should be striving for, for this Libra full moon. Now, Libra is all about balance and relationships and partnership and beauty and aesthetic and the things that it is that you value from your heart. It's about appreciating the beautiful things in this life. For example, this tiny little flower that it is that I have around me, but this is one of the ones that was just kind of sitting there. And this flower, originally it's purple when it's brand new, but when it gets older, it starts getting white and, you know, the color starts changing. But you can see the, the flowers are a little bit more purple when they're in their younger stage. I don't know why that's important, but I just wanted to say that. But it's the small things that bring meaning and substance into our life. It's not always these big, elaborate displays. And it's finding the beauty in the now. It's finding the beauty in the present moment. The big message that it is that I see with this for this Libra full moon is that in order for you to be able to appreciate these smaller things, in order for your life to be filled, you actually have to say no to some larger things or some catchy things, things that it maybe makes sense for you to say yes to, but because you know the rest of the world would say that it's good, but for you, it might be a resounding no, and the answer for you might be a clear, definitive no. And this, by you saying no and you having these boundaries get that are established, um, it creates the opportunity, the moment for you to enjoy the present, the status quo, and to keep your life as simple as possible. It's not always about big all the time. Sometimes it's about um, quality, quality over quantity, and that's what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling for this full moon. I don't know how that impacts you guys. So maybe there's some messages or things that will be developing for you in your life at this moment in time because the full moon has a tendency to kind of build things up and push them up to the surface. Libra is all about balance and partnership, and you might have the ability to connect with someone, but make sure that it feels right for you. And sometimes, maybe in your relationships right now, because there's this emphasis on love and true love, but there's also this emphasis on boundaries and defining things and making sure that there's a clear line. And that could be a clear line between within your work, within your relationships, or maybe um, certain dynamics of the relationship. Um, but either way, it's finding that balance and finding that recipe that works best for you and maybe for your partner. And I also think that you simplifying, let's say if you're single, because there is this energy around true love. Maybe it's not you know romantic true love. Maybe it's your work. Maybe it's something that your heart really, really wants. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But in, when you establish these boundaries, which Libra actually has a difficult time doing because it's so it wants to pair up. But what I want you guys to do and what the message came through for me this morning during my meditation was is so clear and so simple, but it was keep things simple. The more simple life is, the more you'll be able to enjoy it, the more pleasure that it is that you'll find. Even in something as simple as like the way that you prep a meal, sometimes less is more because you get more flavor versus getting overwhelmed by all of these elements, all of these different 
flavors versus highlighting one flavor and enjoying enjoying that and the beauty of that. And Libra, the Libra full moon is going to work so much magic in your life, especially when it comes to love and partnership and balance and you connecting with the things that it is that your heart truly wants and what it is that you've been wanting for yourself. There are some cards that it is that I pulled from the Nature um, Speak Oracle and I've really been resonating with this because nature is just, and just green, green is just my everything. It really is. But the the cards that jumped forward is this is the last one that jumped forward is the ocean from life death and rebirth and how there's this like cycle this cycle of things and the full moon has a tendency to kind of end things and move things out of your life but as something is moving out something is always being created something is always being born from the energy of what is being released and it's all about trusting that and in order to emphasize my point even further with what it was that I was feeling the message that it is that I received, I saw this Holly card, which says, be a spiritual warrior. And basically what this is, is it's permission from the universe and permission from the divine and even from nature that says, it's okay for you to say no to some things. It's not always a yes. And it amplifies the message that I, again, that I received, which is keep your life as simple as possible so that you can enjoy the smaller moments and infuse them. It's the smaller moments that make you look at your life and be like, wow, I'm so happy to be alive. Or thank you so much for thinking about me. Or thank you so much for connecting with me. Or I was so happy that I was able to take these 20 minutes or an hour to enjoy my coffee this morning and to journal that hour was everything it was a simple thing but it made the difference and it's all these smaller moments these these beautiful moments that it is that you create and libra rules beauty and libra brings beauty all of those moments are the things that create the ultimate romance you totally falling in love with your life you totally falling in love with your partner and inviting romance in why do i keep saying romance well you have two cards that jumped out to you that even emphasize even more um this this message of true love and romance and beauty but also not backing down which means that you have to know if you are keeping things really simple which the full moon again it wants you to kind of wipe things out and clear this the slate in order for you to start fresh and start new. That's what's going on in nature right now. That's what's going on in our cosmos. The sun, today's the first day of spring. It's the start of new beginnings. It's the start of new wonders, new things coming into your life. It's the end of an old cycle because Aries is the first of the zodiac, which means that we're stepping into new territory. That is the gift of what the universe and what the cosmos is giving to all of us. But it's just, where is this falling in your life right now? Listen to your heart and and simplify and keep things simple because you can't take the baggage with you from these old moments, from these old um, from this old journey. You can't take that into the new journey because it's just going to work to burden you. It's going to take away from your joy. It's going to take away from your ability to feel light. It's going to bring in depression. It's going to bring in anxiety. Look at Franklin. He's over here exploring. Hi, baby. Say hi. He smells these flowers. These flowers are so fragrant. I'll show you them in a minute. But um, but this card also says don't back down. Aries is the is the sign within the zodiac. And now I know this is a Libra full moon, but it's Aries. It's the sun is falling on the sign of Aries, the opposite of the moon, and that's where you know we we're seeing this initiative, this you know boldness, this assertiveness, and it's not rude, but it's the universe and nature saying that somewhere a boundary you know needs to be established. At some point, you have to say no because this is. You just don't go in that territory. We are not growing there. We are not destined to grow there. We are going to grow here. So by saying no to some things, it allows you the opportunity to keep things simple, to keep your life simple so that you can enjoy those pleasures. Now, the next thing that it is that I'm seeing, sorry guys, there's a breeze and it's so nice right now. The next thing that it is that I'm seeing is staying wide open, staying wide open to what the universe can give to you staying wide open to what messages are coming through. And for some reason, the word meditation just came through to me as I was even saying that. And it's staying open to um, what can come through, what can happen. It's not limiting yourself, but also knowing that when you say no again to one thing, it opens the door for something else. Stay open to that. Then there's that quote, when one door closes, another one opens. Stay open to that open door. Where's that door? That's the door that that I want to walk through because the universe might be simplifying for me, but also work with it in order to simplify for yourself. That's the main message that it is that I'm seeing is how much beauty can come through by making sure that you are, you know, not carrying on too much mentally, 
on your mind, not caring too much physically in your environment, not caring too much emotionally. There's some things that, again, they have to be released, and that's okay. It's okay. Trust. Trust. If these plants can grow through cement effortlessly because they're drawing to the light, they always find the light. If they can do it, you can do it because we are one with nature. We are never separate from each other, and we're never separate from nature because we are nature. So if this is our nature, let's not fight it. Plants never fight it. If they don't fight it, I'm not going to fight it, and neither are you. So that's the message that it is that I have for you guys. Honestly, I woke up this morning, and you know, I don't know if it was because I started my intentions last night. You know, in another bath soak, another charge bath soak, or what? Or it was this full, this Libra full moon just kind of blessing me as it always does my prayers or whatever, but it, whatever it is, is working today. And I just want to share this message with you as quickly as I could and keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to share with you some video of where it is that I currently am so that you can enjoy it with me because I am definitely enjoying it. The one thing that I wish I could share is the way that it smells right now. There are these purple flowers. I don't know where they are or what they are. I don't know their names because I've never seen them before. But they are giving such a beautiful fragrance, and that's what it is that I'm sniffing right now, what I'm smelling. And then also, shout out to the lady that um, sells the plants. In Her name is Miss Jennifer in um, the French market. She was so sweet, and I had a wonderful conversation with her, and she really inspired me and reminded me of my own personal goals of you know, ha continuing to have my shop. And I mean, I'm living out my goal now, my dream, but just hearing her talk about her grandchildren and her family and her passion for plants and her work and her having her shop really reminded me of my own passion and the intention that it is that I want for myself and the beauty of what I want my life to continue to look like. So thank you to that, Miss Jennifer, and I hope that we cross paths soon. And thank you so much for inviting me back to your shop, which of course, she's going to invite me back to her shop, but it just felt, she just felt so authentic. She has such beautiful energy and beautiful skin and beautiful presence and you know, I'm just so proud of women business owners and even men business owners for everything that, is that they're doing. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.